Okay, so get this robot dogs with assault rifles. Yeah. Not like in a movie. Right. This is China's military. I know. It's definitely attention grabbing, to say the least. We've got footage from this recent military exercise, Golden Dragon, I think it was called. Golden Dragon 2024. Yeah. Right, right. And it's, well, it's something else. But you're saying this all points to something much bigger that's going on. Absolutely. These robodogs, they're, uh, well, they're a very visual example of a much larger trend that we're seeing. We're talking a major shift towards what's being called intelligent unmanned equipment in the military. Okay, intelligent unmanned equipment. What exactly does that mean, though? So basically, it's about taking human soldiers out of the equation as much as possible. Oh, okay. We're talking drones, autonomous vehicles. Oh, like self-driving tanks and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Even things like unmanned ships. And, of course, these robot dogs, all equipped with really advanced AI that allows them to carry out missions you know, with a certain degree of autonomy. So less boots on the ground, more bots on the battlefield. Is that what we're looking at? Exactly. And the thing is, it's not just about replacing soldiers on a one-to-one -one basis. Right. This isn't just about, like, swapping out a human with a robot and calling it a day. This tech, it has the potential to completely change how wars are fought. If so. Well, think about it. You can send in these unmanned systems to gather intel, surveil enemy positions, maybe even carry out precision strikes, all with well, basically zero risk to a country's own troops. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Which I guess brings us back to these robot dogs, right? Right. I mean, they're the ones making all the headlines. Yeah, and understandably so. It's pretty wild to see, even just in this footage, you've got this robot dog, I don't know, it looks to be about the size of a German Shepherd, maybe a little bigger. Yeah, something like that. And it's just walking around with this, like, full-on assault rifle mounted on its back. Yeah, and it's not just walking around aimlessly. In the video, you can see it's taking commands, it's hopping over obstacles, it even lies down flat at one point, all while it's still armed, which yeah. is a little unnerving, to say the least. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? It's a very deliberate display, and they even have that soldier, Chen Wei. Right, right. He basically says they could use these things to replace soldiers for certain missions, right? Right. Reconnaissance, targeted strikes, that sort of thing. So it's definitely not just about looking intimidating. They want people to know they're serious about this tech. And they're backing it up. They had a bunch of armed drones in this exercise too, right? Exactly. And that's what's really interesting here, I think. You have to look at this alongside all of China's other developments in military tech. They're pouring resources into drones, autonomous vehicles, AI-powered systems. Yeah. It paints a pretty clear picture of where their priorities lie. So this isn't just a one-off publicity stunt, then. They've been working on these robot dogs for a while now, haven't they? Oh, oh yeah. This has been in the works for a while. They had similar robo-dogs at another multinational military exercise back in 2023, in fact. So they're really committed to this. But this isn't just a China thing, right? I mean, I've got to imagine other countries are working on this kind of technology, too. Oh, absolutely. The U.S., for example, has been experimenting with military robots, including their own version of a robo-dog. Really? Yeah. In fact, the U.S. Air Force, they're actually trying to integrate these robots into something they're calling the Advanced Battle Management System, or ABMS for short. ABMS, what is that? Some kind of Skynet situation. Uh, <laughs> no, not quite that advanced. But it's basically a network designed to connect all branches of the U.S. military air, land, sea, even space, and allow them to share information and coordinate actions in real time. The idea is to create a more responsive and interconnected fighting force, basically. Okay, so it sounds like the U.S. is taking a more, I don't know, integrated approach, mm -hmm. while China seems to be focusing more on like individual units like these robot dogs. That's a really interesting observation, actually. And yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how these different approaches to military AI development play out over the next few years. Yeah. But one thing's for sure, the way wars are fought is changing, and these technologies, they're right at the forefront of that change. Especially with, you know, the rise of drones in recent conflicts. Right. Like, look at what's been happening in Ukraine. That's really shown the world just how much of a game changer, even relatively simple drone technology can be, you know? Yeah, it's really shifted the balance of power in a lot of ways. I mean, it's less about having the biggest guns and more about how you use the technology you've got. And that brings us to China's stance on drone technology, which is confusing, to say the least. How so? Well, on the one hand, they're a huge exporter of drones. Yeah, one of the biggest in the world. But then last year, they put all these export controls on that same technology. If they exist for national security, 
but yeah. yeah, it's a very calculated move, isn't it? They want to control this technology and the power that comes with it. Yeah, or it makes you wonder what their game plan really is. Like we see these robot dogs strutting their stuff on their state TV. Right, of course. But there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes that we're just not seeing. And that's the thing to keep in mind as this technology keeps developing. We have to ask ourselves, what are the motivations of the countries developing it? What are they hoping to achieve? Because ultimately, this isn't just about robot dogs with guns. It's about the future of warfare and what that means for all of us. What do you think? 